hello guys i am back with another video today we will discuss the basic navigations in mainframe screen so whenever you log into mainframe after that what are the basic options where you have to go to to see a file to write data in a file to see a jcl to execute a jcl to write a cobol program or to copy data from one file to another file like manually or to insert a line, how to repeat a line, how to delete a line, how to copy a line, how to uh, move a line. So all these are part of various uh, basic mainframe uh, navigation. So we will discuss in this class, what are the basic mainframe navigations are present and how we should proceed. So whenever you log into mainframe, this is the screen that you will see always. So this screen is more or less constant in all the projects. So first you will have a settings option, which is zero. Next, you will have view, which is one. Next, you have uh, edit option, which is option two. Then you have utilities. So uh, almost from option, uh, from the first line till uh, 10 or 11, the options will be almost same in all the projects. These are predefined things in mainframe. These options are more or almost same in all the projects. The options which will change are the options here. See option 13, you can see FM and this is file manager. So file manager is a tool in mainframe using which you can do various things using files. You can view data in, in a file with copy in copybook mode. You can edit data in copybook mode. You can copy data from one file to another file using file manager or file aid, whatever tool you are using in your project. In option 15, you have DB2. It is not constant in your projects uh, or in your applications, the DB2 option may be in some other place. But here you have, we have it this way. Option 17 is for QMF. QMF is one tool where we write the queries just like Spoofy, okay? So these first few options are more or less same in most of the projects. Now, I will first of all show you where to go to. If we have to manually create a file, where to go to? So you have to always go to option three, which is utilities. So three, and then data set. If you see option one, you don't have to check anything. Option two is data set. On the right hand side, you will always see the details of it. What this option will do. Here you see allocate, rename, delete, catalog, uncatalog, display information of an entire data set. Meaning allocate means create. You can create a file from this option manually. You can rename a file. You can delete a file, you can catalog a file, you can uncatalog a file, you can display short information of a file. So if you go to option two, just type two here in option, press enter. Here you will see there are seven options, these three and these four options. So if you want to create a new data set, you have to choose option A. If you want to rename a data set, you have to choose option R. If you want to delete a data set, you have to choose option D. If you want to catalog a data set, you have, you have to choose option C. For uncataloging, you have to op choose option U for checking the information of the data set, meaning to check the attributes of the file. What is uh, the uh, space? What is the DCB? Uh, whether it's a PS file or PDS file, all those informations. If you want to check management class, volume, serial number, all these informations, if you want to check, you have to choose option S, okay? vsem utilities for option v any any type of vsem things if you want to do that is option v now these seven options are present in this uh, screen now these are all manual things if you want to create a file manually you can do it here okay if you want to rename but what happens is whenever we create a file manually only then we come to this screen this rename delete uh, checking information and catalog on catalog generally we don't do we don't have that much of necessity to do catalog on catalog we can do through jcls only on cataloging and catalog for cataloging a file back to your mainframe system obviously you have to come here but other than creating a file manually we don't come to this option because rename delete checking short information this you can do from some other option only where we generally go so if i come back so for coming back from a screen, you have to press F3, F3. I'm, I'm writing it, but you have to press this F3 on your keyboard. So your laptop keyboard is there. There you have to press F3 to come back from a screen. 
okay now <clears throat> if you go to option 4 which is ds list option 4 so you have to press 4 here if you go inside whichever file you want to view or whichever jcl you want to view or whichever cobol program you want to view everything can be viewed here okay you want to write a cobol program you want to write a jcl you want to write data in a file you want to execute a file uh, jcl you want to execute um, even after writing you want to execute a cobol program you want to write some data in a file you want to rename a file you want to delete a file you want to check the information of a file everything can be done in this option okay now few basic things i will show so before that let me go back to the previous screen i am pressing f3 you can see there is a option called move copy option 3 what is this move copy so move means if you want to move data from one file to another file with move option the data will be moved to the output file and the input file will be deleted what this move option will do is it will move the data from input file to output file and the input file will be deleted this is like cut paste in your laptop you do cut paste right similar to that move will work like that copy paste copy is just like copy paste data will be copied from one file to another file that's it input file will not be deleted we don't use these options actually in real time we don't use in option 2 we just use allocate option in option 4 remaining things we do so i'll go to option 4 to see what we can do here so whatever file you have suppose created you want to write some data in it suppose this is an empty file i have created you have to write the file name here we don't have to write any single quotes you can just write the file name you have to press enter so ds name level ds name is data set name level you know level means name right the value so press enter if this file is present in the system it will show you like this if it is not present this screen will not come on the right hand side top it will tell you that this file does not exist or data set not found so let me try with ps1 what is ps1 this is a file which i don't have actually in my system test.ps1 file i don't have if i press enter no data set names found that means this file is not found in the mainframe system so i will check ps so the short information that you want to check short information as in the attributes space dcb all those informations you want to check you have to press i in front of the file name so always choose tab option to come to this position don't use mouse how did i come here my uh, the cursor was present in this location whenever i came to this screen the cursor automatic cursor automatically came came here why did it come here automatically in this entire screen only at few positions you have the right access you don't have right access in all the uh, positions of the field only at few so wherever you have right access if you press the tab button on your keyboard it will take you there we generally what we do is we use the mouse and we click on wherever you want to write anything that is okay you can write but sometimes the position where you have right access while clicking it will not take you to the first position of the right access it will take you to the second third fourth or something like that but to come to the first position of the right access field we have to always use the tab button it will always take you to this position for example this is the screen if i in this position i don't have any right access obviously i don't have i i have right access only here here in scroll and before the file name and in any other place of this screen i don't have right access if i click anywhere and if i try to write something suppose i want to write abc see my screen is stuck on the left hand side below if you see the this sign has come right this means my sc screen has stuck i have tried to write something in a position where i don't have right access that is why this screen is stuck this is why we should never use ma uh, mouse and click anywhere on the screen to write somewhere here and there it is fine but always keep a practice of using the tab button now to remove this a sign you have to press escape button on your keyboard okay now it is gone so 
I am I have pressed tab. I have pressed tab once more. So it has brought me here. So if I want to check the information of this file, short information, I have to press I, press enter. So if I press enter, this screen has come. Data set name is this test.ps. Management class, storage class, this I did not provide. So this has come as none. But in real time, whichever retention period parameter you are using in your project, if it is management class, you have to provide management class while creating a file. If it is uh, RETPD, you have to use that. If, if it is EXPDT, you have to use that. Whichever is getting used in your project, you have to use that value will come here. This is the volume serial number. That means on this device, this file is currently residing. So if you check all the information with which I created the file are present record format fb record length 80 block size 800 uh, primary um, extent is 10 tracks secondary is 50 tracks all these informations are there now to go back from this file okay and also this creation that you can check on this right hand side creation date means the day when those this file was created so it was created today that is why this date is coming reference date means on the the day when it was last referenced referred last opened this file okay or last view that they will come so if i go back if i want to go back from the screen i can either press enter button or i can press f3 button anything will work so i'll press enter button it will take you here so that is i i means information if you want to check the information you can press s also s means short information this will also tell you the same story okay so if you want to check the information of a file attributes of a file you can either press i or press s before the file name it will show you the attributes of the file okay so in the next class we will discuss how to write data in a file how to insert data in a file insert lines in a file how to delete the data how to repeat a line how to copy how to paste how to find how to change one value to another value many things there are many navigations we will discuss in the next class i hope this video is helpful uh, we'll meet in the next class till then thank you